Yo, what's going on guys, Incarnate HD, or Doom Incarnate here, bringing you guys a 121 kill assault chem strike on the map Warhawk by a player named Doom Master. Now, the reason you guys most likely haven't heard of this player is due to the fact that he's actually part of a different division of Doom called Doom Spain. Now, uh, every once in a while Doom Spain gets an upload to this channel so we can tell you guys to go check him out. And uh, it would mean a lot to me if you guys could go check out Doom Spain, their leader Maya, so it was actually a really cool dude. And, uh, yeah, he's one of one of my favorite guys in there. We always talk in the chat and stuff. Yeah, so they're really cool over there. Make sure you guys go check out Doom Spain. Their gameplays are absolutely insane. Uh, they're up to the standards as Doom, so if you're Spanish or if you just are feeling nice, go check them out. Go give them a sub. Let's see how many subs we can get them off this upload. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys go check them out for sure. And uh, you can check me out in the description below. Now, in this gameplay... Uh, or in this commentary, I'm going to kind of talk about, not really an oversaturated topic, but definitely a topic that you've heard before. It's going to be a little bit about specialist versus assault, because I feel like it's fitting. Because basically over here, we don't really upload many assault gameplays, just because it's not really popular among the players. They don't really see the need to run it, because I feel like getting specialist 100 pluses are actually easier. Now you might say that that just doesn't add up on paper, because your streaks are doing stuff for you. And with specialists, you don't have anything in the air or on the ground to get kills for you so it really just doesn't make sense because with assault you have stuff that does that it's automated machinery or just stuff that's user controlled any anything that can just kill people without you really needing to put effort into it but the reason i feel like it's easier to get 100 pluses with specialist is because you become the kill streak now basically if you've ever ran Assault in Call of Duty Ghosts, it's really not effective, like, at all. And getting these 100 pluses are really hard things to do. Just because stuff like the attack helicopter doesn't really get many kills. Um, if you look at the attack helicopter from Black Ops 1 or MW3, that was really good. Like, I would rage all the time because that would kill me. Nothing was insane in my opinion. I just felt like it was actually an overpowered streak. But in this game... I really just don't see it. I don't see the attack helicopter or the battle hind, whatever it's called, doing anything significant. I mean, I have gotten a few clips with it, such as like quads and stuff, but that happens once in a blue moon, to be honest. And uh, the thing is with specialist, you get all those perks, and once all those perks add up and you get your specialist bonus with dead eye and agility or whatever you like to run, you become this, you know, madman, this super soldier, and getting these kills are not that hard, because if you think about maps like Strike Zone, it is much more effective to run Specialist, just because the map is so close quarters that you're dying a lot, you're getting a lot of kills normally, so sometimes you're going to die off your streaks, and if you die off your streaks in, you know, with Assault, it sucks, but... It really is just much, much easier to get 100 pluses with Specialist. So, a lot of people will disagree, but if you look at the gameplay out on YouTube, you're going to see a lot more Specialist 100 pluses. And, yeah, the main reason for that is no one runs Assault, but still, I believe that they are much easier to run Specialist and get 100 pluses. So, that is in Ghosts, but I feel like in games like MW3, getting 100 pluses with Assault is much easier. Now, the reason for this is... Uh, basically, you guys know how the streaks in MW3 weren't the best, but they were good. I mean, they're not Black Ops 2 standard, but they're not Ghost standard. You would normally run the Predator Missile, the AH-6, and the Pave Load. That was pretty much the standard Assault Loadout. And Solo 100 Pluses were pretty easy in that game, to be honest. You didn't really need that much skill to get them on maps like Interchange. They were pretty easy to get because you could play kind of passive, and you would get a lot of kills with your streaks. So... Yeah, your streaks actually did some work in that game. I remember, you know, if you've ever seen a 200 plus in that game, the streaks could do some work. I mean, there weren't many 200 pluses just because of the fact that, you know, the streak didn't do as much work as they did in games like Black Ops 2, which I'll get into in a second. And uh, but there were 200 pluses with Specialist, as you guys know. The most kills in that game is actually with Specialist, but that's just because of Terminal, and Terminal is like, or. Er, Assault is like obsolete on terminal. You can't run it because you're inside the whole time. So, I mean, you could probably run it, but it wouldn't really get you that many kills. So, yeah. And the reason for, you know, the 200 plus with specialists being there is obviously if you guys ever played terminal, you know, it's pretty straightforward why those are possible. But yeah, getting into Black Ops 2. Um, yeah. <laughs> this game was actually, like, just retarded when it came to lethal streaks. Um,. Swarms on a good swarm could get you like 30 kills, and it was just dumb. 
Uh, I played a lot of Black Ops 2, and, you know, you guys saw a bunch, and when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch of 200 pluses with the support team, and, or in Ground War, you always saw those 200 pluses with support teams, and there was never a 200 plus non-lethal in Ground War, mainly just because you don't really have a terminal style map where they spawn like that, but... It just straight up is impossible. You, there's no 200 plus non-lethals in ground war. It's not possible. Um, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you have the world's best support team and the world's worst enemies. It's basically just not going to happen. Because no map really supports that. Or, you know, you can't really get that many kills. And with assault, um, or with lethals, I guess you call it. Because there's no strike packages, so it was lethals and non-lethals. You never saw any, like... <laughs> 150 kill games like you would in MW3 because in MW3 everyone uploaded like 150 kill games like the, I'm not gonna I hate the word random because it's such like a like I don't know a derogatory term for a small channel but all these little channels would upload like 150 kill MW3 games with support but in Black Ops 2 these little random channels were uploading like 200 pluses because they were so easy to get um and it's really weird to think of 200 kills being easy to get because you had things in MW3 where there were only a handful of 200 pluses. I'd say at this point, there's actually more Penta Moabs than 200 pluses. Now, everyone's getting Penta Moabs and stuff, but yeah, I feel like in, you know, Black Ops 2, running non-lethals and running lethals were actually kind of the same for like on terms of nuclear level like obviously getting an assault moab is harder than getting a specialist moab but i feel like in black ops 2 with a full support team getting a nuclear with lethals and getting a nuclear with non-lethals is exactly the same just because of the fact that you always have permanent beast out like you would if you you know played solo or play like multi-team or whatever with non-lethals so i feel like nuclears were you know the same difficulty i guess so yeah, in, as for this gameplay also, it's 121 kills, which I actually find to be really cool, because normally in most assault gameplays, it's not this many kills, it's normally like 103, 102 and stuff, if you guys watch people like Mark J, they're always getting these 100 pluses and ground war and stuff, but uh, once again, do master, he's a really good player, I actually went to his channel myself to look at his gameplays, and to my surprise, you know, these Spanish players are actually really insane, and their gameplays are up to standards, even more than standards, they're setting standards over here, just like we are over here, and I apologize if this gameplay is like weirdly cut up because I'm actually like not used to cutting up gameplays with assault because you need to find the parts to cut out because it actually only does get one chem strike so I don't really know what to leave in so I just left in like the larger streaks hopefully that wasn't too bothering it was a bothering a word for you guys bother some that's the word uh, yeah, so this gameplay is actually coming to an end here as he does call in the chem strike. I believe another one of his teammates called in the chem strike. This is actually in a four man party, but that's not too big of a deal. Once again, it is by Doom Master over at Doom Spain. I do know his gamer tags and master, but trust me, he's a part of Doom Spain. My name is Incarnate or Incarnate HD. Go check out Doom Spain. Go check me out, and I'm out. Peace.